title of the exhibition is Power and Allure. Of all the words that could describe gold, those are two extremely important ones. The curator of the exhibition, I think, had a fantastic, simple ambition to tell the story of Britain for the last four and a half thousand years through the gold found in Britain and the objects made for some of the most important and powerful people in Britain. I'm always intrigued by how gold can be used in gold thread. And this, I mean, this is an example of so much gold in one doublet. I mean, it's extraordinary. And this, I have to say, would only be worn by a page. So what's everybody else up there wearing? There are 400 individual objects here. Collectively, I think you would have to say they are priceless. We have a London good delivery bar downstairs, and at today's value, we're talking about $660,000 worth of bullion. The wonderful thing about this exhibition is four and a half thousand years of gold. So firstly, it demonstrates the longevity of gold. It is within man's soul. Um, but also what we've seen in the last few years that gold has transgressed into the investor arena and now many people own gold as part of their portfolio as diversification so not only the jewellery aspects and its allure, its beauty but also as a store of value and as nobody's liability, it's any currency you want it to be so gold has really come of age and this uh, exhibition today really demonstrates all the facets of gold It is truly unique uh, I I don't think it will be again presented in this form in Britain. Uh, what I would love to see and for the World Gold Council to sponsor is the equivalent exhibition in other cultures, be they China or India, uh, Middle Eastern countries, because every nation has the same story but in a very different context. Perhaps the things you first notice are the grand ornaments of state, the cups, the chalices, the swords. But when you look closer, what you see at times are objects of extraordinary whimsy, a tiny mechanical mouse that scampers across the dining table. It's very important for us to sponsor this exhibition because the World Gold Council is about gold past, present and most excitingly now the future. And we need to be committed to artists, we need to be helping them to maintain the beautiful skills and craftsmanship that they have. Uh, and this is one of the ways that we do that, by showing people the history and heritage of gold, but also what gold can do today in a very modern oeuvre. The two pieces we commissioned are the Pleiades collars from White and Teague, uh, a beautiful coronet called Wreath by the artist goldsmith Polly Gaston. It is a very ancient symbol of wealth, but it's also a timeless and beautiful metal. And I wanted to make something beautiful out of something timeless. It consists of seven rings of gold, which represent um, the seven sisters, the Pleiades. And this um, group of stars, we know that was known to Bronze Age people. So that makes a, a further connection with Lunula, which is the most um, ancient piece they have on exhibition here from 2500 BC. We're basically bookending the exhibition. You know, we've made the newest piece and we also are inspired by the oldest piece. I've always worn um, uh, my parents' stuff for different premieres and different things, and they've often um, made specific pieces for me. So it's just lovely to see a piece like this, I think. It's looking at the models walking around with the new pieces and seeing the connection from the Pleiades collar to those amazing collars that are up in the room upstairs, going right back to the Iron Age and seeing that golden thread, that connectivity of craftsmanship. And that is what gold does, it connects us through the ages. The favourite moment, I, I can't tell you any one, uh, it's the whole event and I think what I will be left with uh, as I leave is the name of the exhibition which is Power and Allure, it's all about passion and as I walked around today and met many many people uh, from across the, the arts, journalists, investment analysts, investors, uh, every single one of them were just taken back by the heritage of gold, and if you like, the passion that that brings and inspires people.